Hello guys and welcome back to Madfire on channel. So in this tutorial series we are going to create a simple puzzle game. In this series we are going to check 8 direction swipe control which will be used to move our player level generation from level data then grid system and many more things. The entire project is available on github the link will be in the description and if you want premium version of this project which has extra features in it like add mob unity ads level editor 100 plus ready to go levels then you can go to my patreon page and get the premium project and in this way you will also support this channel so without any further delay Let's get started. Okay, so our game loading is entirely completed. So now we need our UI. So for that, we will create a UI here. So we already have a canvas. So let's go in our 2D mode and let's go to our canvas. Okay. So we have already created our game panel which has a solution image in it. Now we also need a text to tell us which level we are. Then we need one button for restarting the level. Then we can have one text for showing some coins. So in game panel right click and create a new text and we will call this level text and this will basically tell us which level we are playing and we will align it on x and y axis let's make it best fit let's increase the size of our level and let's drag it up like here and then we need to anchor it so let's change the anchors to its uh, edges so that with the screen size it also changes size next we want a button so in game panel we'll right click go to ui and create a button and this will be our retry button so let's set the width to 55 and height to 55 the sprite so we can just select this option here and okay we don't have any sprites okay we'll just rename or name the text to r and set it best fit and let's drag it up here And then we need a game complete or level complete panel. So in canvas, right click and create a new panel, and we'll call this maybe complete panel. And the color will make it black. The image, the source image, we'll select this and make it none. Now inside this, we need a text, and this text will be complete level text again align them set it best fit and this time set the max size to 100 and change its size and we have a button next button
Okay, let's deactivate our complete panel and for our UI, we will create a new script. So in our scripts folder, right click and create a new C sharp script and call it UI manager. Double click to open it in script editor and we will add our namespace to it. So here, as we are going to deal with our UI, uh, we make using unity engine.ui. Then we need few variables. So we create a private text variable, call it level text. Then we have a private game object variables, main menu and complete menu. Then we have a private button variable called next button. Then we create a getter for our level text because we want to edit it from our level manager. Next, we create a method called onClick and it takes a parameter button. So, in that we have a switch case. So, right now we have only one button, but uh, if you guys have more than one button, you can just add them here. So, in our switch case, we are checking for the name. And here we check if the name of a button is next button, then we will perform some action here. So, if you go back to our editor, and in our complete panel we can see the our next button so make sure guys whatever the name you are given here it has to be same right both of them should be same else it won't work then in our start method we are assigning the method to our button uh, listener so we get our button we call it on click and we add the listener to it now in next button basically we want to restart the label right so for that we are going to use unity scene manager Okay, so we added our 
unity engine or scene management then we also added one more variable for retry button then we have added one more case for our retry button and currently both of these cases have the same code where we reload the same label so we need to add the listener to our retry button as well so i will just copy this paste it here copy this and paste it here so let me check if our retry button name is correct so yeah so this is perfectly correct we also have a label complete method here let's make it public first and in our label complete method we are basically deactivating our main menu panel and activating our complete menu panel and we need to call this from our level manager so let's go to our level manager and here at the top we will uh, basically store the reference to our ui manager So in our level manager, we create a new variable called UI manager and we make it serializable. Then in our start, we set our game manager dot current level equal to player prep dot get in. The key we pass is the current level and if this uh, is not available, so let's say the player is starting the game for the first time, then we set it to zero by default. Then we set the uh, level text which will be equal to current level plus 1 because our current level starts from 0 and our text starts from 1. Then in our move brush we have this level uh, complete thing we check if level is complete or not. So in this first we set uh, our game manager current level that means we add 1 to it. Then we check if the game manager dot current level is it greater than the maximum level we can have if that's true then we set it to zero that means we start from zero okay then we save the current level and we call our ui manager level complete method so let's do one thing copy this thing and in our start let's paste it here and we'll set it to play so whenever our level manager gets created we set our game status to play so let's save all this thing and go back to our editor so let's create a empty game object reset its uh, transform and call this ui manager drag the script to it we have these fields to be assigned so let's assign them Next thing, in our level manager, we can drag our UI manager here. And right now we have only one level, so I can just duplicate it. Okay, you can just uh, create different levels if you want. 
and we also have a premium asset so in that we already have a level editor basically so you don't have to like assign this thing you can just uh, like drag and drop and create a level if you want that you can get it from our patreon page so in our level manager let's track all of these things so currently all the labels will be same but uh, we will see the naming will change here so if i click on play the game should work okay this is one okay let's do one thing instead of just showing the text as the count we will also add label here okay label and space so let's click on play so this is level one so let's make the pattern okay complete level and we can now go to next so if i click on next you can see our level two has uh, started so i can just go level three we have a lot of five levels So once we complete this fifth level, we should start again from level one. And yeah, we are starting again from level one. And uh, if we retry, click on this, we are restarting the same level. Okay. Okay, guys. I think this is the entire thing for this uh, tutorial series. So we have created a very simple, colorful puzzle game where you can basically play the entire game from start to end we have the level system in place so i hope you have learned something new in this series and enjoyed it a lot so i will see you in the next video till then goodbye and take care